Life has changed a lot over the last few weeks. The way we work, the way we communicate, the way we study and pretty much all aspects of our life has changed a lot. While this crisis is far from over, it is important to reflect to see what we have learned so far in this crisis. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five things we have learned from this crisis so far. The first lesson is toilet papers are far more important than the food. Well, that was a clearly a joke. Anyways, the first lesson does relate to somehow toilet papers. So the first lesson we have learned so far is crisis brings the best and the worst out of human beings. Only a couple of seconds ago, I did talk about toilet papers. So some of the videos that you have seen that people are fighting over the toilet papers and you think to yourself, are you guys really serious? And you do feel really ashamed about these things as a human being, thinking that we have gone so down that we'll have to fight for just for the sake of toilet papers. While that was one of the worst things that happened in this crisis, there was lots of other positive things that came out of this crisis. Think about all these people who are coming out to help all the vulnerable communities, our elderly people, people who have lost their jobs, disabled people, temporary visa holders like international students. That was clearly one of the best thing that came out of this crisis. Seeing all these different organizations, volunteers, people from different backgrounds, cultures, restaurants, cafes, grocery stores and many other outlets came in to help all these vulnerable communities. And clearly that's something that we should be proud of as human beings. While we did saw really the worst side of human beings in this crisis, we should also look at the positive side and see the best that came out of these human beings as well. And without communities and people looking after each other, we wouldn't have come so far in this crisis. Lesson number two, every country should be self-sufficient in the basic needs. While globalization is really great, and I'm certainly a big supporter of imports and exports to different countries, including our international education, one thing that came out of this crisis is that every country should be self-sufficient to provide the basic needs for their citizens. Whether it's food, medical supplies, protective equipment, or some other basic needs. Like toilet papers. Every country should be able to produce enough things for themselves so that they can survive during the crisis and they don't have to rely on other countries. As I said, I'm not against doing any sort of business with different countries. It just makes sense that every country should have the basic supplies for their own people. Because clearly when there's a crisis in the world, every country is gonna look after their own people first. And that perfectly makes sense. But it also makes sense that every country should look at producing their own goods, at least the basic ones. Lesson number three, importance of the frontline workers. While the work of other workers and professions are really, really important for our economy, in the crisis, we realize how important some of the frontline workers are. That includes health professionals, teachers, supermarket workers, persons working in logistics industry, delivery drivers, and many other essential professions. It, it's clear that during the crisis, we need these people than any other profession in our life. While I personally think that at the end of this crisis, we should celebrate all these essential and frontline workers. For the moment, at least what you can do is to thank these people as soon as you see them. So for an example, you're going to do your grocery shopping this week. Make sure to thank the checkout person working over there and any other staff member who's working in that supermarket and other professions as well. If you see anyone who's out there and you can recognize them as an essential worker, you can thank them for their work. Again, the frontline health workers, without their help and other essential workers' help, we wouldn't have got so far in this crisis. Lesson number four, the mother nature heals herself. Now, over the last few years, we have been worried a lot about the climate change and rightfully so because there is so much emissions and pollution is there, the temperature of the earth is going up every single year. And this picture came up last year that clearly shows how the temperature is increasing every single year over the last 150 years or so. While we are stuck at home and we can't go out, in the meantime, what's happening is mother nature is healing herself. Over the last few weeks, while everyone is at home, 
there is lots of changes that people have seen. For example, there's less pollution out there. The air in many cities are much cleaner as compared to the previous years. And there are lots of other pictures coming from all around the world where you can clearly see the difference between what's happening currently and what it was few years back. This gives us a clear indication on how much impact we as human beings have on our mother earth. Well at the end of this crisis we will definitely see it as a positive. While it's hard for people to stay at home and be confined, mother nature is definitely doing herself a good favor. And that will certainly encourage us to think the way we live our lives as well. Just as a suggestion, maybe it's a good idea to keep people inside for a couple of weeks every single year to just get this healing done by itself. Again, there are many things you have to consider before making such a decision, but it was just a suggestion. I'm certainly mindful of the fact that people may not be happy with this suggestion, certainly because of the economic consequences and the livelihoods of many people could suffer because of this. But there is a suggestion out there. And last but not the least, we as a human race will need to be better prepared for the crisis in the future. While many people are losing their life, economies are collapsing and in general people are unhappy about staying at home, it is clear that we need to be better prepared for any future crises that are coming on our way. Obviously this is not the last crisis in the world. There could be other potential pandemics that might come on our way. And while you think that the countries like Italy, France, UK and US has one of the best medical systems and they are really well prepared for these things this crisis has shown us some other picture and we are talking here about the most developed countries in the world imagine those developing nations and underdeveloped nations we need to reconsider our plans on how we can combat these sort of situations in the future and last thing is make sure that you guys stay safe because if you're not healthy if you're not feeling well nothing else matters in life. So make sure to look after yourself and your family as well. Personally, I believe overall we are going to come out as a better human race from this crisis. Well, that's my own personal perspective from this crisis. What are your thoughts about this crisis and the lessons you have learned so far? And I look forward to your comments regarding what lessons you think you have learned so far from this crisis. And if you do like the video, make sure to share it with at least one person and smash that like button as well. And if you're new to this channel, I highly recommend you to subscribe as we make videos every single week for international students in Australia or who are planning to come to Australia. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.